Whoa, whoa, whoa. This Sammy, look oh, at it. You can tell he fuck with Pete Diddy, look at it. He got a nipple jumping out the gym. Man, that man has a thousand bottles of damn Look at that. What nigga gonna have a nipple jumping out the gym? P. Diddy, boy. I'll be trying to guess how many lines of coke they did back then to make them the songs hit like, like that? that. Them songs was hitting. A healthy two. A healthy two. <laughs> a strong two, two lines. Doing bumps back they then. Were... That when you were bumping, you ain't doing line. That when you had it in your little necklace or something because you had to be discreet with it. So you just. <laughs> so good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so good. See how, but remember Bobby Brown dropped that little bag of powder? Now nah, you know he be bumping. It's a bump. That thing in That's that. why they nailed. They had that one little pinky nail. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I was never a nail guy. I was more of a key guy. The key? House key. The car key. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about out there. No, we don't. <laughs> no, not that I used to do it. I used to see somebody else. Uh, okay. Where my keys? Just <laughs> <laughs> making sure I don't lose my keys. <clears throat> That's delicious. It's nothing better than ice cold water. It's not ice cold water ain't good for you, for real. I know it's not, but damn it, I want something to myself. That's why you be constipated? I don't be constipated. And it clog your pores. You <laughs> it clog your shoulder pads up. Sure. Constipation. That's how it's supposed to be because they fancy. Okay. Don't know overcoat go with that shit. You just out here looking like a, mm -mm. Uh, a BB. <laughs> 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 you just out here. All right, come on, man. Let's go. All right, y'all ready? Mm hmm I don't think we rolling. Are oh, we rolling? Oh, okay. <clears throat> what? I'll be having to think about it right here, right now. Go ahead. Okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Trap. It's Trap News. I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy, Mr. MBM. When you see him, don't ask me if I sent your bitch a DM. <laughs> I'm running out of shit, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a tight spot. We're in a pickle. <laughs> I lay it on. I lay it on. Anyways, um, you already know we had to start the top of the show off with the heavier stories and the biggest stories. And one of the biggest things in the country that's going on right now is that the dock workers, they have gone on strike at 36 U.S. ports. So... They are, um, are on strike right now over a contract dispute. They're demanding an increase in wages. And basically, they're saying that, that if they don't get the wages that they want, then they're, they're not going to work, all due to uh, automation. They got to be Mexican, Spanish, some It's some a choice. mixture. No, nah, no, only Mexicans get together and do shit like that. <clears throat> Black people ain't that strong. They would be having unions. <clears throat> but man, some niggas, you know, went on strike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas just quit. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, niggas ain't quit. Yeah, you know how niggas act like we going on strike and the white folk hit your ass up like, we'll, we'll up your pay $2. You're like, shit, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go. go to work. I'm going to go on fuck with them folks. you like, yeah, we going on strike? You really don't never go on strike. Well, it's a lot of them that are in formation right now, like all over the country, and you, it's going to mess up our goods. I used to hate the Migos. They used to do that at my job because like, nigga, all y'all stay in the same house. <laughs> so everybody just like one. Y'all niggas going to the same house. Like I gotta go, I gotta go here by myself out of this shit. Y'all niggas locked here. Y'all niggas got there. Oh, man, what the fuck I'ma do? But I love my big old and my second favorite. Oh, well, they all um, in Jamaica are fighting no. for their job. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Cause the food good. Jamaicans, um, which one? Migos? And yeah, both of them. Yeah, both good. Yeah, right. That, that food good. That's why I fuck with them. Jamaicans are mean as fuck. Go ahead. Anyways, we all love topic, but yeah, at the dock, the um, they basically going on strike because they trying to replace the workers with robots and like automation systems. So they trying to say like, nah, up our pay because we we can work faster than these robots. But it's yeah. like, 
They going on strike to try to prove a point, and they said that one day of strike will hold up se a whole seven days of goods for the U.S. So that means inflation. People gonna be gouging. Act, you know how they act on the toilet paper in 2020. It's gonna be shit like that. They gotta call J5. They gonna have a bunch of J5s in there. That's really what it's gonna be. J5. <laughs> Anyways, moving into um, politics, I don't know if you heard that the New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, he has been permanently disbarred from practicing law in the District of Columbia. A court of appeals ruled this earlier this week that his debarment is a resort of reciprocal discipline resulting from his law license being stripped in New York City. Um, yeah, basically, he can't what practice law no more. What did he do? They said that he has a resort of reciprocal discipline resulting from his Is this the last like uh, political thing we're talking about? Because did y'all see what Donald Trump trying to... Uh, this nigga promoting the purge. Like, one day, nigga... No cap. Like, one hour, you get one hour to just... Do okay. whatever you want to yeah. do. I did see that. Yeah. That's crazy. And I, I feel like that's why we shouldn't be voting for him. That's that's why we should be, because I got five baby mama. Listen, I'm on y'all ass. <laughs> I'll wait five years just for an hour each year. Just one year, one hour. I'm on your ass. That shut up. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I'm serious. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a Two that's for a one. My you and the child. Pop, pop. Get both of y'all up. Cut <laughs> that. Delete that out. Okay. <laughs> He loves his kids as they vote. <laughs> Anyways, this, I don't know if you heard that Planet Earth is also getting a new moon this weekend. Like, how the fuck we just gonna get a new moon this weekend? Like, we just gonna go ride by. Like, this shit is crazy. Um, it, this past weekend, the Earth has, a, I mean, as of this weekend coming up, the Earth has a new moon that's gonna be here. Our planet's gravitational pull has captured a space rock and sent it into orbit around Earth. And it's a temporary captured object. So they saying that um, it's basically a near-Earth asteroid, which is being called the Earth's new miniest moon. I feel like you just can't say we finna get a new moon. Are we gonna moon. be able to look up and see it? Well, I don't know, because they say it's only 11 meters in diameter. That don't even sound big. 11 meters in diameter. I feel like in order to be a moon, you got to be colossal. Like, 11 meters is not that big. Uh, well, like, we just name it. How many meters shit. is the moon? I don't know, but I like... I be 12 the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you just ain't good with measurements, that's all. That's... No, I... Did you know... <laughs> she could be big as fuck. She's like, 11 meters now. Got to be colossal. <laughs> Did you know you could buy a star? Yeah, and name it. But they just reselling the same stars over. Because how the fuck you know where your star is? Somebody need to buy that new moon. That'd be fire. Buy a bitch a new moon. Niggas used to buy bitches the sun, the moon, and the stars while you playing. They yes, they did. They did used to do I that. I gave you the sun, the moon, moon, and the stars. That was forty dollars, dog. That, <laughs> that, <was, laughs> that, 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 that was a that was a that was a spinoff of forty dollars. That was that was. You that know how much money you had to have like, to buy the moon and the sun? It was a metaphor. Mm -mm. It didn't mean well, that. niggas ain't doing that no more. No, no. Anyways, I feel like they just own some shit to rewrite history. Okay. So, for the new moon? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. We ain't got no two moons. Anyways, speaking of history, let's send it over to Chris for Chris 3. Set it off. Up the Set it off. Set it off. Thank you, Moneybag and Bree, for bringing it over to me. Well, let's get to it. They got me on rodent patrol. You know, we about to talk about them. We're going to talk about them rats. You don't know what them rats are. You know what, you know what I'm talking about. Mickey Mouse. Master Splinter. Fiverr goes west from American Tales. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all still, <laughs> still don't know. Chuck E. Cheese, bitch. We talking about the real rats. New York City, they on the streets. And apparently they trying to get them under control. Do you know them rats in New York so big, you got to get a fucking ID, you know what I'm saying, to separate yourself from them? <laughs> I promise the goodness to you, man. If you've never been to New York, I saw, I saw a rat run through somebody's clothes, through the laundromat, you know what I'm saying? He ran through somebody's Montclair jacket and he ended up getting the Tims on, you know what I'm saying? So the rat looked like a little hairy little teenager. <laughs> they almost shot his head, man. But hey, apparently New York is out of control with the rats, man. They're trying to get the rats under control. They are announcing that they're going to recommend bird control for the rats. I'm going to need y'all to get bird control for the people, goddamn, because y'all got more people, goddamn. Hey, 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 look, I know the rats get out. You know what? I ain't going to worry about that. I ain't going to get on that because I like New York. Shout out to the butter crunch cookies. They are a delicacy. Look, don't get me wrong. Look, I used to go to New York in the summertime. You know what I mean? Real deal, New York. You know what I mean? Shout out to the mixtape scene. I'm talking about Ron G, S and S summertime shootout. Shit like that, nigga. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm dead serious. I used to be in New York, man. They got a real mixtape scene. But those rats have multiplied times 50,000. 
I just don't know how they're going to do the birth control. How do y'all think they're going to do the birth control? You think they're just going to give them birth control pills? You think the rats going to be coming down to uh, Walgreens like, bitch, <laughs> they didn't pass the law. I need my motherfucking medicine. You think the rats going to come down there and get their own birth control prescription? No. I heard that they're going to introduce birth control patches. <laughs> and I know what y'all saying. The last time y'all seen a birth control patch was on Donald Trump ear with that little assassination. <laughs> And we need footage of a new one. Ain't nobody, t- ain't nobody got footage of that, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we had to get footage from the shooter of that right there. But th- I don't know about the birth control thing, because the birth control things can go a little wrong. I remember my experience with birth control. I- don't look at me like that. Not that. Listen, my grandma um, had Alzheimer's, right? You know what I mean? She had an aggressive, aggressive case of it. And uh, I think the doctor diagnosed her with TA. TA staff for thought activity because that's what my grandma was doing. She was like still doing older woman stuff, but doing it in a young girl way. Like she was going to church to the women's day program, but she had on a cat suit with the back out, you know? <laughs> but one day we found out my grandma had on the bird control patch. That wasn't the crazy part. The crazy part was my grandma had on the bird control patch. I had on a no smoking patch. We messed around, got drunk and switched patches. <laughs> Yeah, now I got on the birth control patch. She had on a no smoking patch. I'm smoking cigarettes. My ankles getting big. I said, I know the fuck. I ain't getting bloated in here. And all of a sudden, grandma came in the house like, baby, I done missed my period. I said, what? Had a baby two years old with some shoes on. But look here. They ain't about my grandma, man. I'm just trying to see. Y'all make sure y'all get that rat situation under control. We're going to be monitoring it, seeing how it goes. Some big ass rats up there, though, man, for real. Ain't it? Shout out to New York. Next, we are going to a. Uh, sad to see right now, um, there was an execution that happened in the United States that the whole world heard, you know. His name was Marcellus Williams. It's the case of Marcellus Williams, and uh, he was an innocent man. He was on death row for a crime. The people who were involved in the crime said he didn't do it. DNA evidence came up that he didn't do it. He said he didn't do it. So apparently we have to see now what happened who couldn't stop this or who kept this going. And apparently that was the governor, what was his name? Mark Parson. God, always a white bitch. God damn it, Mark Parson. That's what the hell happened. Mark Parson kept it going like, well, well we don't know who, who, who what, what happened and it ain't our decision, so we have to go on with the execution. Man, that's bullshit. At some point in our life, we have to say what's right and what's wrong. I thought I went through this before, but I guess I gotta go through this again. If the man was innocent, let him go. Even if it was a white man, I would say let him go. But he wasn't a white man, so we're going to deal with the truth right now. He was a black man, you feel me? And his last words were, all praise be to Allah in every situation. Now, at this point, I don't care about what um, religious group you're with. That is an honorable thing, if nothing else. That's the most <laughs> honorable thing you can do in a religion, you know? But he, he wasn't just um, a Muslim to me when I see him. When I see him, I see somebody like me. I see my skin complexion. I see a black man, you know what I'm saying? It's like a black woman see him, you feel me? The whole world see it go down right there, you know? I just know it's a right or wrong in this, and that was wrong. It was very wrong. I felt so helpless. I even did a show down in North Carolina. Shout out to everybody Riley, North Carolina, man. I did a show down there, man, and I said the same thing, and I was, got off my own set, man, you know what I mean, from doing comedy, you feel me? But the whole crowd just clapped, and we all just agreed. So I know people out there looking at this, y'all agree too, you know what I mean? That was wrong, man, you know? But... You hear people say, well, well, you Muslim one. Hey, man, look at me. Do you know anything about what you speak of, you feel me? I don't know about y'all, but I'm a person I travel, you feel me? I remember I went to a, a place um, called Granada, Granada, Spain. And that's when I, I learned a little history, you know what I mean, in real life. Actually, I went over there with the military first, you feel me? I went through the Straits of Gibraltar. That's between Spain and Africa right there. But something happened between Spain and Africa. You see, this is the year 2024 right now. Shout out to Dr. Asa Hilliard. He was a black historian that told me you need to have a time frame when you're talking to people. So this is 2024 right now, right? The year that I'm talking about is 7-Eleven. In the year 7-Eleven, well, originally, actually the year 17, there was a man named Tariff that came over from Africa with a small army, you feel me, into Spain and started civilizing some of the Europeans over there. That was 17 and his name was Tariff. He was a black man, melanated man. So that's why people still pay the tariff today. 7-Eleven, a man named Tariq came over. Tariq came over with more people, you feel me? And then I think uh, maybe an Arab nation that was in Baghdad and, or Damascus. I forget which one of the capitals, you feel me? But in 7-Eleven, they came too, you know what I mean, aiding the Africans. I guess they wanted it not to be an exclusive African military campaign, but it was an African military campaign that went over there. But I had a chance to visit that place. Uh, I visited a place called the Alhambra in Granada, Spain. 
The Alhambra is the last palace that melanated people had. And they ruled that place till 1492, all the way to Isabella and Ferdinand. You can check about that, the recon, re, the recon conquista of the Moors. You know what I mean? I think that's what it is. I had a chance to go into that building. I went into the Alhambra. And they erased every trace of anything of the Moors being in there. You know? And once I saw that, I'm a black, I went there with my wife. <laughs> and I went with my daughter. She was barely one year old, you feel me? Went up in there, man, and I asked them, I said, y'all seen any, y'all know anything about the Moors? Now remember, I'm in this place right now. You can Google this. They call that building the red one. It's the last palace, you feel me? I said, y'all got any, any Moors in here? They was like, no, no, no. You know, the motherfuckers start acting stupid. No, no, no Moors. I said, no Negroes? No Negroes? No Negritos? Nothing, nothing? No, I don't know. Bitch, I know damn well some black folk built this goddamn building. You don't get your ass out of here. <laughs> but like I say, they ruled that place, man, all the way to 1492. In 1492, they end up expelling the Moors out of Spain, you know what I mean? Ain't it ironic how our history in America starts at 1492, but it ends in Europe, you feel me, in 1492. I think we need to all do some research on that, man, you know what I mean? I always say they ain't nothing but the Moors, you feel me? I got a little hashtag and everything, but now I'm on the platform to speak about it a little clearly. Thank you, Chris, for that Chris 3 lesson. Um, this week was a big win in Georgia for women because a Georgia judge, he struck down against the six-week abortion ban, making it legal to now have the procedure in Georgia for up to 22 weeks. You agree with that? Absolutely. You agree with abortion? Yeah, I do. And wow. women, Because women should have the right to choose what to do with their body mm. and their life. Mm. And some of y'all don't even deserve kids. Mm. Like, some of y'all niggas is just shooting up clubs that y'all don't even want to be at. Mm. Like, why would you do that? We came and checked the club out. It wasn't jumping, so we fucking left. <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then don't shoot the club up. Why nah. shoot the club up? Nah, nah. We got to do better, man. And you know what? There's a lot of people living like, fuck what God said, and I don't like that. Well, unfortunately, this... Well, fortunately, now, this can save people's lives because this one lady... Yes, this you black... Save by killing them. No, let... Well, I'm alive them. listen, okay. this late, this girl, Amber Thurman, she was 28 years old. She just died a couple weeks ago because she had took the abortion pill within her six-week time, and the fecal, the baby had passed, right? But some of the fecal matter hadn't left her body. So she went to the doctor at seven weeks and was like, hey, can y'all perform this, which is a normal routine where it would have been just a regular abortion. They would have sucked the rest of the shit out. They didn't because of the new law, and she died from an infection that she could have easily been... And you know how she would have been alive? She never would have got an abortion in the first place. But she was a single if mom... she would have did what God said, she, dude. She was a single mom at our Pull up, uh, Leviticus. Shut up. <laughs> he don't even know it. Spell Leviticus. L-E-V-I-T-I... Nope. C-U-S. That's Leviticus. Okay, you might have spelled that right. I don't think he did, though. We're going to fact check it. I don't think he fucking did. So, anyways, I think that it is good. Women should have the right to choose. That's all I'm saying. I think And niggas like, make... you don't need no more kids. So, I maybe... don't agree with abortion today. Today? Yeah. You say you don't? I don't. Because they already have an agenda to wipe us the fuck out, and y'all are helping. They not. They doing that because they want to do, like, if you can't afford no kid, you don't, need, you don't to need to have no You don't kid. need to afford to be bust a nut in. That's okay. You're right. You got some women that say, hey, put on a condom. Then you got some women that don't say shit at all. We're going to stop blaming these niggas. But what about we, what I, you as a man going to do? You I don't what? give a fuck. We know that <laughs> niggas don't... <laughs> niggas That's don't give a fuck. The problem. We will put a fucking doctor's glove on and fuck. Like, we don't care. Somebody has to give a fuck. Exactly. And that's The why... person that has to carry the baby should give a fuck more than I should. Okay. Can True. we agree on that? I feel like they both should give a fuck because it takes 50 50. And we no, both gonna be no, responsible. No, yes. And with this, we can't do it without each other. And so we can't stop no, we, it no, without can, each no, other. No, we can abortion by ourselves, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's the fucked up part. You're supposed to do it with her. You got her in a situation together, take her through the, the whole thing. No, y'all need to both join together up under God's eyes and do You ain't join book. together and under God's that, eyes with nobody. You're not even joining. The book said get married first. You, you already you never did said that. that. Wrong. It did say that. No, it didn't. It says a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. That don't mean get married first before you fuck. <laughs> it <laughs> says if you find a wife, you find a good thing. A... You can find some pussy and be all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can find some pussy and be all right. You can be good, not all right. That's, that's two different wrong, things, though. God wants you to be good, not okay. all, right. all right. That's all. All right, go ahead. That's all. I'm trying to restore black communities. <laughs> Am I not? <laughs>
Yeah, by making this is a number. This is a fact. The number one leading cause and death of black people. Period is abortion. The fuck. And we talk about really? niggas. Is that, yes. No. It is. It is. That's the. It, no, finish not. it. No, it's Add not. that sign in there. Finish it. No, it's probably. Add that in there. Finish it. It's, it's probably it. police brutality. No, baby. Yes. Y'all killed and 10 niggas times. Niggas in jail or gun violence. This is a it's well known. It's definitely not fucking abortion. You're pre- not even alive to be killed. That's the whole point. You say what? You're not even alive yet to be killed. What you talking about? Abortion. You're not alive yet to be killed. You don't even get a heartbeat or fingernails and shit until you like 12, I think over after six weeks. That's why they made it to six weeks originally. I ain't think you think like that. That's crazy. Friend, it's not. So y'all be... I just, I am against people bringing babies in this world if you're not ready for them, if you can't afford them, it don't if work you're like in that. a broken home. And that's why God mad. And that's why God, the big man you, is mad because y'all think like that. Speak for and God. it says, thou sh-. I'm not speaking for God. God, God, say God speak for me. And he said, thou shall not kill. Well, he said, thou shall not steal. And you done did that too, nigga. And I plan on That's doing it. it when I leave here, when I go to the fucking Shell gas station. See what At the saying? end of the day, all I'm saying Niggas is. Niggas want to pick and choose. Ain't there no pick and choose. What part of God they rock with? Listen, like, what? Stop killing our babies or stop fucking. You, How about that? Thank you. That's that's the be proactive. I, I know what I be doing. I bust in pussy. I know <laughs> what I do. It ain't no accident. I do this shit on purpose. I didn't. I didn't have make no accident. When I made my kids, my pull out game went weak. I just didn't pull out. That, that's weak. That's that pussy good. Okay, well we gonna be. What we doing? <laughs> Jesus. We I don't give a fuck. Okay, <laughs> nothing. Tell the truth. That's all I'm saying. All right, go ahead. Next door. We're going to keep your baby mama and them children in our prayers. Uh, Moving on. Uh, Congratulations are in order for the MVP, Derrick Rose. He announced his retirement after 16 years of playing basketball. That's a pretty long career. Oh, God. He ain't never got a ring, is he? Uh, Stop clapping. Okay, well, he (laughs) was. Seize all clap. All hand touches, seize it. That's not right, because he made it to the league. He was the number one overall pick in the in, in the 2008 NBA draft um, by Chicago Bulls. That's pretty big, which is his hometown. And he won the MVP in, in 2011. I'm saying, nigga, you can't hoop. You can't even hoop. put the... You, yeah, I can't. I don't know. You can't even... Your lungs is I, shot with I that motherfucking football. battery pack. I play pack. football. Anyways. But that's what's up. Derrick Rose is be one of my favorite players. No cap. Hey, man, you need to go on. Go to ESPN. Uh, I don't think I ever Charles heard. Barkley and goddamn Shaquille O'Neal got to get you money. Okay. Talk about these new niggas coming up. Well, speaking of new niggas, um, well, he not new, but young niggas. NBA young boy, um, his Japanese fans sing his song word for word, and I heard it was really crazy. Let's take a look. What the fuck is, what is the I Samurai said Jack? Japanese fans. What in the Samurai Jack is this shit? <laughs> These niggas live on the west side of work at American oh, Daddy. Like, these, these niggas work at American Daddy for sure. That's Master Shifu in the back. <laughs> you know Master Shifu? They done added some, they done added some weed to them dreads. You gotta have kids to know who Master Shifu is. I don't like the know. nigga who talk goddamn Kung Fu Panda and everything he know. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but I know. Oh. I don't know who that is, but I know weave in them dreads when I see it. Yeah, that weave. Like they a got they got that cologne cologne that that yeah. braiding hair wrapped mm-hmm. around their hair mm-hmm. to make it look yakky, nigga. Yeah, y'all bullshit. Anyways, they was listening. They was rapping NBA Young Boy. I ain't surprised. Um, but what I am surprised is how Cardi B took it to the end. Well, I don't know who started it originally, but I I was kind of sad that it got to this point with Cardi B and Offset. They were beefing all over social media. Um, and it got bad this time. Yeah, like this, this shit was, uh, this shit was awful now. Yeah, this past, um, we, you, I mean, July, you know, Cardi B filed for divorce from her husband, and they just been going at it, but she had recently just had the baby, um... She that, thought that baby was gonna keep him when that nigga ain't come back. That pissed her off. I don't think she thought that baby was gonna keep him. <laughs> she actually took the, to Instagram Live to talk about how she, when she was already thinking about leaving him and found out she got pregnant. Let's take a look. I think we got so it's like, you trying to show me, trying to get me mad, like, oh, no, oh, let me show you the bitches I'm fucking. Let me show you the bitches in my DM. Uh-huh, I'm going to hurt her feelings. I don't care. I don't care. That pussy must not be hitting. That you still calling my shit. Trying to get, trying to get your lick back. Trying to do your big lick back. I don't care. You're fucking lame. 
And them bitches is lambs too. You wanna know why? Because you gotta fuck them bitches in order to get your ego to feel high. You know, I'm too much, I'm too, I'm too, I'm too much woman. Turn that shit off. Well, it she went. She do give a fuck. She wouldn't be on the internet right she now. She do give a fuck. Her. They hurt. They both give a fuck. They both hurt, <laughs> honestly, because it went on and on. Um, they somebody also had commented when she was on live, like, I, was you? Did you fuck somebody else when you was pregnant? And then she got on Twitter and was like, and did. Like, yeah, I fucked somebody else while I was pregnant so who, with, who, with the baby. Who trying to boost their ego up then? But then he came back and responded. Offset was Cardi like... B, uh, man, baby, come out. Come particles on it. Uh, with pink eye. With pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> pink eyes. No. Uh, but Offset responded like, he don't care. He, You my baby mama, I won. Still fuck though. That's basically what That's he said. <laughs> Still fuck though. Damn though, no, that's crazy. If you if you fucking no. niggas while you pregnant, what happened? No. This is breaking news. I told y'all uh, what the God man. God, y'all killing all these fucking kids. Trying to tell you, boy. Oh, my God. Breaking news. John Amos, um, the Good Time star, has died at... Damn! ...at 84 years old. We are sending our condolences out to his family. You are ridiculous, okay? Um, yeah. Moving on. Oh, we gotta move on. I'm not done talking about that. Uh, oh, Cardi B? Yeah, I'm just joking. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, because I meant to tell you. Did you know that she had also tweeted that? She was like, I missed, um... Take off. Man, I almost had a heart attack on the spinway. I was like, no. I was like, oh, fuck. I, said, I... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Cardi, I just heard, man. I heard that nigga talk like, boo boo. Like, Amen from heaven. Boo boo. Like, why am I in it? Count. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think that they really did fuck with each other, though. Because she, she tweeted. She... Oh, my God. Don't let her. Oh, she, she dropped didn't a... say that. She you know insinuated got... it. Let you know me they see... got them pictures of a nigga sleep in the bed. That's how they all catch it. all the rappers cheated. If that bitch got a picture of... of him sleep in the bed, she said I missed those nights. I hope his eyes were closed, because if they was open while he was sleeping... That's... <laughs> Take out, man. Yeah. I felt like... You gotta I, close that nigga eye. Like, every time he go to sleep, you gotta close his eye. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, close him Like that little dog <laughs> back in the day that eyes rolled around in the head. Ugh. <laughs> um, yeah, she also... Yeah, she, she got... It got wild. So I feel like nobody Boy, wins. she drop a picture or something like that, Offset gonna go fucking crazy. Did you see Pooh Shice there in her live talking about I'm on the way, I'll be there in five minutes? No, he's just talking shit. Still, though, they're like, damn, my boy. Yeah. That's some, hey, you, hey, nah. That's shiesty, he said that. Shiesty, nah. Yeah, that's shiesty. Not holla at your baby she mama. She went to fixing her hair and shit, like, ooh, all right. Like nah. niggas checking. You feel me? Mm. Go ahead. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, shout out to Serena Williams. She has actually been named Glamour Magazine's 2024 Global Woman of the Year and will grace the cover. Mm -hmm. This story is titled, Serena Williams still plays to win, and the, reti the now-retired GOAT of tennis has her sights on a new kind of international domination. She's taking her brand global with an ambitious venture fund that invests in founders who are women of and or people of color. Oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, I think that's dope. And you know, because she got that rich-ass husband. He worked for 150 See, million. See, you know what I'm saying? See, let me just say this. When niggas get their money and they do something, they don't do it for men or people of color. Like, why I got to be like women of color and of people of color? Like, just say people of color. It's because Y'all hate us. She going to help women, too, of other races. That's part of people. No, it's not. It's... What are you why talking you, about? I'm saying it's it specifically says... specifically for women. Who are women... Yeah. ...or people of color. Just say people of color. No, because it's going to help white women, too. That's not color, Bree. That's what I'm saying. She going to help... You're not listening. It's it's a part... Look, that she going to help all women. Women who are well, white... What Women. You don't have to say all. It's just women. It's implied. She going to help women and or... People of color, like black men too. So it could be white women, black women, black black men. People of color. But the white women, they not people of color. You can't include white women and people of color. 
Don't it do don't that. say white women, it just say women. I'm just, why I gotta be so distinct though? Just fuck I us. I think because then the disparity, the people who are disparaged. I'm tired of this shit. I think you retarded. God is mad. I think you retarded. I don't think you understand what we say, what I'm saying. You can't say that these days. That's not a I am, I can uh, say it to you. Uh, See, that's your problem. I'm saying it to that's you. That's your problem. I'm calling you that. That's a, that's your problem. Anyways. Shout out to you, Serena Williams. I'm retarded. Speaking of you don't white need women. Pads on. You just need a fucking helmet to go with <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Speaking of white women, this white woman ordered her black adopted daughter to balance. See what I'm saying? Now it says white woman. <laughs> it's distinct. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Anyways, you don't have to read, so why I'm just, are you? I'm just saying. Okay. The, this white woman ordered her black adopted daughter to balance a bag of rice on her head what like the an fuck? African. Yeah, I think we actually got a clip. Let's no. Take a look. Oh, damn. And she's from and Africa, too. And then recorded it. Yeah, she's from Africa, too. Come on. You have to know how to do this. This is like in your blood. Ow, There we go. In your blood? You dirty bitch. Toting a bag of rice is hereditary? Oh, that's pretty heavy. Is that her? Right and you put it on your motherfucking head. You talking about it's heavy and you telling her to walk. This around. dusty bitch. They should, and that's why they should do little checks on people before they let them just adopt kids. How is you? Mm -mm. She runs an adopt. She Wilson, who runs an adoption coaching business, operates social channels with content about her lifestyle, caring for her adopted and biological children, and you recording it. Your wallet. Um, obviously, she received a bunch of backlash. She said... You know what? I think we need to... Black people, we need to adopt more white babies. Because you don't see that. You don't see a black family <laughs> adopting white babies. Niggas don't even want to take care of their own kids. We just oh talked God. about that. They need so to feel that shit. They, they need to feel that. How you going to adopt some shit and then desert it? You going to jail, nigga. The fuck is you so talking about? So you mean to tell me my daddy should be in jail right now? Uh, <laughs> 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 Times was hard. But listen, you know how you always see a white couple with a black baby? Like, yeah. Yeah, they, we don't never see no black people with a white because baby. Because they trying to, they trying to get our juice. We ain't, like I said, niggas ain't taking care of kids. They own kids, let alone somebody else. But I know a couple of black people that ain't adopted other black kids. They don't adopt white kids. Because ain't we scared white kids white gonna kid kill us? White kids crazy as a yeah. motherfucker, boy. <laughs> What Will, the fuck? you kind of be scared of white you kids a little bit. This nigga that drew a pentagon on the floor. <laughs> this nigga six months old. How the <laughs> hell you got there to do that in six months? Hold this shit uh -uh, in the ground. With his head. He done got there and put some powder on his head and then yeah. drew a, slid around on the floor like a snail and drew a pentagon and lit a match. Or and lit a match. Got a picture of the family in the middle of it. Or got like a, having a seance right, in that bitch. I don't know. I don't, I don't think people do that. I think 85 South, we should adopt a white baby. And everybody raise it. Who gonna, I was saying, <laughs> who gonna raise it? Motherfucker spend a little time over here. Everybody yeah. got, you know, times when this baby, this baby It's your be, weekend, nigga. We ain't never gonna, gonna find it. Yeah, you ain't never find it. This baby gonna be ghetto as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gonna roll up and, and baby gonna have a white baby on some Tim's. Like, <laughs> I had that nigga ass in the passenger seat. No car seat. What six a months. <laughs> nigga leaning like this. Six months. What a do rag got some Tim's. Music loud as a there. motherfucker in Detroit. This nigga here and go. Every time I get this baby, I'm gonna be like, you erased everything I fucking did. You reset the fucking baby to ghetto mode. I'm sick of this shit. I don't hell no, I don't want to raise no kid with y'all. Oh my so god. I thought we could do it. I thought we should do that for the community. 85 South, we should raise a white baby. <laughs> no bullshit. Mm hmm. And yeah, we got a white I, man on our staff now, so... Where you gonna find so a baby do We'll know what to feed it. I don't know what you feed it. What you feed a white one? It was a white baby like cheese Glue sticks. Gluten free. Gluten free bread, raisins. And the white folk eat some cheese, boy. They eat some cheese, boy. <laughs> what the uh, fuck do you feed it? <laughs> Bullets. I don't know. <laughs> what a bullet? Trail mix. Trail mix. Trail mix and cheese sticks. And cheese... <laughs> Baby kind of stomach be swollen in the butterfly. <laughs> Concrete hard. <laughs> stomach be hard as a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't shit since he was born. We been feeding this nigga cheese sticks. <laughs> day one. He's about to do a pipe tray. <laughs> he took a shit. Okay. He won't learn how to shit these 14 years old. <laughs> Ridiculous, so we might as well just go on over to Justin for a goddamn dick. Goddamn dick.
Appreciate that bag and brief. On today's episode of Goddamn Dickless, we are right here in Fulton County at the Rice Street Jail. Now, um, they shook this motherfucker down. I think it was a, a few months ago, but it's just come across my desk. So now I want to share it with y'all. So if you've seen it before, then you already know exactly why this ended up on Goddamn Dickless. Because the shit they found in there is Goddamn Dickless. Now, I've been to jail a whole lot of times. And I've never seen a way you can get a mother... Right, just wait a minute. I want you to see the shit that they had in here. Son, can you play that clip for me, please? Six only. Channel 2 Action News is taking you inside a raid of the Fulton County Jail. And this is just some of what strike teams confiscated. Things like drugs, cell phones, shanks, a makeshift hatchet. A fucking hatchet? Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie has this... For those of you don't know what a fuck a hatchet is, we're going to put one on the damn screen for you. Use drones to get stuff into the hands of inmates. And the Fulton County Sheriff's look, 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 look. He's so damn disgusted. See how he slammed the shit on the fucking the table? Shakedown. We're on inside the Fulton County Jail. And a lot of the illegal cell phones, which can go for thousands inside the jail. Drugs they go for thousands on the street. Came into the jail via illegal drone drops. Wait till you see the ingenuity. How ah, the fuck do you use a drone to drop something over the jail? Ain't this a song bitch up there in the Washington? The only thing we're going up here to do is a massive shakedown. We're looking for everything. Any weapons. Boy, you wait till you see this shit they got on the table. Boy, they got something that'll go in one side of your ass and come out the other. County Sheriff's Office Jail Strike Team. <laughs> Struck a vein of contraband quickly in the first zone they hit. This is a cell phone and charger found within seconds of hitting this. <laughs> yes. On the high security seventh floor of the Ooh. Fulton County Jail. This has been a high priority area for us with respect to. Uh, drone activity and before saturday morning was done men and women normally assigned not just they to like the that we ain't out here for this shit house. look at him he ready to go home the sheriff's office who had assembled in the early morning darkness and look at the goddamn amount contraband amount on that fucking t- inmates Ooh. aren't supposed to have but did <laughs> lots of makeshift weapons including shank well look at that that's the goddamn how the hell do you get that type of apparatus in a damn prison Oh my Respect God! For those of you who don't know what apparatus is, that is tools to do a job. From one shakedown, these are more than a don't let this this vernacular fool you. I'm taken from inside the jail. Yep. A goddamn royal crack pipe. Shakedown turned up 22 illegal cell phones, suspected marijuana, tobacco, plenty of pills, even a bottle. I smoke a whole lot of goddamn drug. marijuana. How the hell you don't smell that at the jail? I'm surprised the building's still standing. Most of the look at the goddamn shit on that fucking table. Boy, look at here. From the plumbing shaft to the lighting. That looked like that foreign movie. What is it, 300, 3,000? What was that shit? Now, I didn't watch it. I didn't know they had, probably had a lot of that shit on it. How the fuck are they getting that in there other than drones? I know what you're doing. This some bitch ready for the goddamn civil war in that damn... <laughs> Cut that shit. Cut it, cut it, cut it, because I done start breaking out and fucking high. Shit like that keep me out of jail. Now, I'm going to throw all my illegal shit away, because I don't want to end up... Please, and they are sending fucking jail cells on fire. And look at this. But we had a... Uh, we was able to catch up with one of the inmates from the jail during, after the shakedown, and this is what he had to say. Sonny, could you please play the... I'm innocent. Innocent. innocent for what? We'll we take him back a little bit, son, because I, we, you a damn liar. 15 armed robberies? Earlier this morning. Bullshit. They just pull your fucking name out of hat, man. And we collected two cell phones. I can see if it was just one or two of them. This motherfucker said 15. In fairness, Natalie Ammons with the sheriff's office says there is no way to know if the cell phones belong to the inmate we interviewed. Oh, you ought to leave that damn man, man alone. He had up for 15 all robbers and you got him out there locked down for a fucking cell phone, bitch, and they got fucking hatches in there. I wouldn't even be bothering him. They got shit in there, man, that'll go in right now. Whoever had that motherfucker's thing up, sit his ass out there. Look, man, that has been my episode of a goddamn diggers for the day because my blood pressure is rising. This shit.
Okay, we had a group of teens. They tried to steal five SRT Durangos Damn. in Detroit. Ain't that the fast ones? Hell yeah. Oh, they was on some shit. Police arrested four teens and a 24-year-old who allegedly tried stealing the, um... How y'all gonna say five then six? Which one is it? It say six new Dodge Durangos. So yeah, they, they, which one is it? The alleged thieves could not get through secure through the security barrier. Barrier, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Is this supposed to be barrier? Y'all, how will y'all write? Is barrier this? a word? Or is it barrier? Because you gonna be some people in the comments like, yeah, barrier means. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be barrier. Barrier. Okay. Okay, anyways, the damage, see, the damage to the property, that's, that's why this is the trap news, okay? Mm -hmm. The damage to the property was $500,000. They going to jail. And that's like a felony, ain't it? What? Yeah, that's that's in and out of. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Well, we got a two. clip. We'll pull a yin yang twin back up. <laughs> Police say several accused thieves tried to steal the pricey SUVs in a 6 a.m. caper with failing results, with the damage estimated to be around half a million dollars. Foreign police say of the six Durangos they went after, five are of the SRT model, which can list for more than 100 grand apiece. It all began with a caller phoning 911, alerting first responders to the suspicious group hanging out in the rear parking lot. Brought gasoline along because uh, the cars kept on the lot I uh, don't have a lot of gas in them so they came prepared in the event that they had to drive for a while so they brought extra gas definitely an organized plan hopping the fence jumping into the SUVs and trying to drive off the first car attempts to ram his way through the gate he's unsuccessful a second car tries to ram his way through the gate uh, pretty impressive construction but they weren't able to get through arresting five of the six with teams closing in on that last outstanding suspect of those captured so far two are 16 years old two are 17 and one is 24 all of them are from detroit it don't. Fucked up, though. The 16, it don't count as a felony. Hell no. Nah. You ain't going to the detention center. You be all right. Be all right. They call their mama. Come get these near, man. That's Damn. about all they can do. But I'm trying to figure out how y'all was going to hop out and get gas in a high speed. They I mean, brought gas with I them. mean, they brought, how you going to hop out and fill up they in the middle of a high there. speed chase? They, 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 nowhere in their mind they thinking that they was going to get in a high speed chase. They didn't come prepared for that. They just came prepared just in case the car run out of gas. Um, okay. Well, they obviously Summer weren't prepared. Andy. Yeah, I never stolen a car. <clears throat> Me either. The fuck? <laughs> Anyways, they was caught on camera, and that's just crazy. Anyways, ATL is also has been named the most surveilled city in America. According to the Compratech study on the world's most surveilled cities, ATL tops the list as the most surveilled city in the U.S. with over 24,800 cameras <laughs> for 500 thousand eight hundred eleven people so that means there's 48.93 cameras per 1,000 people that's yeah. a lot of cameras America would be the seventh most of it I mean Atlanta would be the seventh most surveilled city in the world only beaten by five cities in China and London that's crazy Philly the other top 10 cities are Philly Denver Washington DC San Francisco Vegas Detroit Chicago why are all the black cities Portland and Fresno Let's be real. That's where all the crime is. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> just throwing it out there. I don't know. Maybe. Well, if they can stop stealing SRTs, because that was in Detroit. And that's on the list, too. That's crazy. Chicago, most definitely. Y'all need to overload them niggas on camera. Bro. God damn. But I, don't you think it's... I feel like Atlanta don't have more crime than Chicago or, or Detroit. Don't quote me, but I don't feel like we do. They know. trying to watch us to see how we getting this money. You never know. That's what it is. Man, that's it? Yeah, hell yeah. Atlanta, they see us down here getting this money, and they like, oh, we got to see what the fuck going and we, on. And we're going to see them doing it outside. They see the plays we moving and making? What are you talking about? They see the plays being made. Don't think they not. There's Brie Renee getting out of her car. She's trying. <laughs> she goes into a Starbucks. got to be something going on. No, they Starbucks. like, oh, she pulled up at the trap. She at the studio. Okay, they getting brief. It's legit. You ain't doing nothing It is legit, but they they still want to monitor it. They don't... You think they like that we win it like this? Yes. No, they don't. They love it. No, they don't. <laughs> Speaking of being surveillance, there was a real-life mechanical bird that was spying on top of a car, and it was filmed... They, they said it was making noise like a radio. People on social media shared the video that appeared to be the mechanical bird sitting on top of the car. He looked like a real bird and appeared like a real bird, but then they said it started to make sounds and repeat noises like as of a radio machine, like machine. Might have been a parrot. No, it was like a pigeon. Yeah, but and you then, know we got a clip. We'll take a look. What 
the heck? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what else could it say? I don't know. I don't even know. Tweet, what tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. The bird is actually. It is talking. I swear to God. We have video. Listen. Oh. <laughs> He's so. Cute. Is it real? Why is a bird? Yeah, say something. Wait. It's like saying something talk about. Yeah, that's crazy. They showed a bird that was on the ground dead that was cut open and it had like a motherboard sticking out of it. They using these birds to watch us, nigga. They don't, I'm telling you. It's like you they, ain't doing shit. What they, do you mean, us? I'm telling you. You ain't doing shit. I'm doing a lot of great things in the community. I mean, right. So why the fuck would they be watching you? Because they don't want us to be doing a lot. You see, they got your mind, twin. I thought you was woke. <laughs> I thought you was woke. I thought you was up. I don't think them folks you don't ain't waste never seen, the data on your ass. Yeah, you ain't charge. never seen they clone Tyrone? Uh, yeah, I seen it. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's what they doing. They watching us, the monitors. They running experiments and tests. They trying to see what we eat. All that shit. Just anyway. That's why y'all better pray we don't go to war with China because they got shit like that over there. They do. And it could be them too. Oh God, that probably what it is. Ain't no telling. We don't know. We going to war. We'll stay low, okay? <clears throat> Anyways, be safe out there in them streets. Listening over to Blake. Blake the Great. God damn, man! Y'all gonna get my balloons for the way like that? That what we doing? Man, Blake the Great, man, Trap News. You already know what time it is. I'm out here in the streets and I'm geeked the fuck up. You did what I'm saying? Damn, who caught? OG! OG! You in neutral, baby. Put that motherfucker in drive, baby. <laughs> motherfucking engine fucked up in that motherfucker. God damn. Hey, man, listen, man. It's Blake the Great. We out here in the streets, man. We taking this month serious right here because you know what it is. It's motherfucking election time. You did what I'm saying? And you know at election, they always be trying to trick us. So we out here in the streets, man, and we really want to get what the people want, man. You did what I'm saying, man. Here comes security. They about to fuck with me, man. But it's okay. How you doing, sister? We doing voter registration? Who you voting for this year, sister? It's about Trump. No, ma'am. It's about, it's about whoever you voting for this year. Okay, well, may you may, may you please just check who you vote for this year? Who you vote for? It's okay. How you doing, sister? You're fine, sir. Supporting that man. This is China 85. You did what China I'm 85. Listen to me. Okay. I got China 85. Listen to me. Yes, ma'am. I'm from Brooklyn, we New York. I am from Brooklyn, New and I know about Trump. So y'all got to go back to history in his 60s. Trump do not like black people. Trump did not give you no money. Do y'all realize SPB, that money? Hey, you lying. Trump gave us all the money. I guarantee you it's a young nigga right now. No, Trump gave us the money. Let me tell you what. Go back in history. Who gave us the money? He didn't give you no damn money. Who gave us the money? New York, you didn't in it. Who what gave money? Who gave us the money? Do you understand? What money? Someone's got 10. What money? Somebody got 18. You know Somebody got 20. Let me tell Somebody you. got 40. Am I lying? Come on. Somebody got 1,000. He didn't talk about the SPB. You know how that? SBA. Yeah, you know how you know that was this and it was since 1960, fool. I didn't Do know you that. know that? I didn't know your that. damn history. It was for the wealthy people. Okay. So when technology came out, that's how we find out about it. Okay. Otherwise, tr they Trump give you no money. Okay. Educate you your, know your okay. educate okay. yourself. Okay. Educate yourself. Yes, how long it been out? Yes, it been out 300 years. God. Black God. people did God. not God. know God. it. You know you're here. Yes, and you and know how we find out? Let me get my paper back. Technology. Otherwise that, we had it. The wealthy had it. It's just like when white people were found bankrupt. We didn't file. Once we find out, they change it. They change the rules. Okay, okay. They change the rules. Can I and ask you a question? No, 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 no. Let me talk. Now... <laughs> When we find out about that SB, what do they do? They change it. And people go into jail for 10000 How about other wealthy? $300 million, they got it, and they ain't going to jail. 
Can I ask you a question, ma'am? What's your name? I ain't gonna tell you my name. Oh, okay, well, it's okay, beautiful. Let me ask you this right here, because it's Channel 85, Trap News, and we keep it real. Trump, with the, okay, with Trump, the people. Trump, Trump, if, Trump, let me tell you one thing. Listen. You know what you did to New York. I'm from Brooklyn. I go back to old school. I've been born, I'm gonna tell you my years, but Trump, you know what you could do? Do you know what you could do for me? What? Stop lying to these people. We ain't stupid. We smart, you think we stupid? Gonna put your ass back in? What do you want from, from Kamala what? right now? What do black people want from Kamala? Tell us right now. Listen to we me. We want re reparations, and we don't want them through taxes, because everybody gonna get it through taxes. We want what we're due. You hung our people, you killed them, dragged them around in the streets, told them they couldn't learn. We want reparations for our people, because you owe us that. America. How much you want, sister? Well, uh, to start, you can give all the black Americans um, $250,000 and then come up with... That's you know, it. Hell no, nah, I want about $3 million. Man, let me finish. You, you give that to us... my chest. <laughs> You give that to us next week, and then you can figure out how to pay us the other five million. Oh, fact, fact. Give it to her next week, then, because I want the money. Let me tell you, Trump, who on jails? Trump need to go to jail. Why he gonna be above the law? If you did the stuff that he did, your ass been in jail. So why this man is called himself be above law? What? Who do he right, know? Right, right. Who? What? Politicians. This interview ain't about you. Say, I'm out here setting up okay. voter registration, so right, I got to get right. other you people. Gotta get okay. Get out and vote and think about what they did to the mayor of I New York, so and he's chest. going to prison. But Trump is not. Trump did pretty much the same thing he did. So why is he? Why do he have to be punished? Because he's black. Cut it out. Give us our money. We need reparations now and rent control. In Georgia, rent sky high, don't put no cap on control. no rent. That's and this, what we want and this, Camilla. This what we, we want to put a cap on the rent here in the city of Atlanta. Gentrification, if you ain't green, you don't fit in. How much you want to pay a month for rent? $500. Okay. And, and minimum wages is $5.15. You need to increase so minimum wages. We shouldn't pay if, no more than $390 for rent because Minimum wage for the state is 525, I mean five dollars and 25 cents, and that's ridiculous. Who can live off something like that? All right. Gentrification is real here in Atlanta, and minimum wages, what we want. Minimum wages here in Georgia is five dollars and 15 cents. That's why the corporate come in here because they can fire you anytime, and but you can pay you anything they want to pay you. So what we need, we need increase in minimum wages. And we want rent control. And we want rent control. Hello. Now. Y'all have a good one. Power to the people. Power to the people, baby. Blake the Great, we out here in the streets. And I'm geek the fuck up. Auntie geek the fuck up. Auntie geek the fuck up. The car geek the fuck up. By the way, fuck wrong with these niggas, man. Blake the Great. And we out here in the streets, deal with what I'm saying? And we geek the fuck up. Nigga, wake your ass up, nigga. Who you voting for, baby? Kamala or you voting for Trump? Who you voting for? I don't give a fuck about now one on. I don't even vote. You don't vote? Damn right, it don't matter anyway. Why you don't vote, OG? Shit, nigga, it don't matter. They put your black president, you ain't want that motherfucker in no way. Why not? Because you didn't want him. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So this trap news right here, China. Yes, sir. Y'all know that. Yes, sir. Why you put that white man in, y'all know what the fuck we gonna happen. What's gonna happen? If that white man don't get in, what's gonna happen? If the black man get in, what's Nigga, civil. You already know where it is. Hey, let's talk about it. My name, you know my name, I'm my face right here. Hey, and I'm scared to show my face. Yes, sir. Fuck that shit. Yes, sir. Trump in it, it don't matter. It's still gonna be the same goddamn situation. Bullshit. Fuck that. Put the camera on me. I appreciate God, that, OG. Who you vote for, OG? I really like the lady. Give him a secretary right here. Ron Harris. I really like on that. They got. Trump, he did what he had to do, but okay, cool. Because what she had to say, yeah, I can't. Tyler Perry, my president. Damn, Tyler that. Perry. But I like the lady for the president. I'm and going I'm for that. Him. And I'm going for that. Kamara Harrison. Kamara Harrison. My name is so, 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 My so, president so. is black. My but man, bro, blue. Goddamn right. Harrison.
Kamar has. I vote for Kamar has. And I'm out. Appreciate you, OG. Man, listen, man, we appreciate y'all, man. It's Trout News, Channel 85. You got anybody want to shout out, OG? Anybody. It don't matter who it is. Everybody on Goddamn Temple Road. We do this shit. D-Low, all that shit. Temple Road. I want to shout out to my daughter. Tell them, yeah. I want to shout out to I've been to Africa. So you've been to Africa? Yeah. Facts. I want to shout out to what I did, and then, then I can't do it no more. Okay, I got sick of I can't do a lot of shit. I want to shout out to being me and lie. I want to shout out to have my brother, my yeah, no. brother come up. My son, man, because y'all bullshit. Nigga, hey, hey. Hey. Son, say, hey, you want to talk? What you want to man? What you want to say? man, the microphone. What you want to say? Who you voting for, OG? Who you voting for? Harris or Trump? Which one? Which one? Trump. Mark. Market. Write it down. Yeah, Check it. Trump. You vote with Trump. Hey, man, nephew trying to get that money out of the paper. What's that name? You did what I said. Who you going for, nephew? Huh? Write it down. Come on. Write it down. You already got Mark on your This channel 85 right here, man. This trap news. We out here getting what the people want. You did what I'm saying? So, what do you want? What is it that you want from the president and who you voting for this year? What you want from the president, nigga? Money. How much money you want? Tell him right now. Ten thousand dollars. Nigga, that's it. That's it. Man, we trying to get reparation, man. Boosters. How much you want, nephew? Tell them both. How much you want? Oh man, you freezing up right now, man. Yeah, Nephew don't want them. How much money you want from the president this year, bro? Yeah, no, I need all the a trillion. Yeah, man. Infinity. I want all the money. All the money. I said infinity. I got one for you, sister. What's your name, sister? Miranda. Miranda. And who you voting for and why are you voting for them? I want to vote for Harris because I think he can do I more do for the kids. And I want more um, food stamps. And I want more tenants for the kids and all that. And I want lower income, you know, because there's people out here that live living on fixed income and everything. So I want to make it good for all my citizens out there and everything. You know, for all my damn people, represent. Appreciate you, sister. We love you, baby. This right here. It's going to the state, you dig what I'm saying? We finna mark this out to the... Make sure, man, y'all sign up to vote ASAP, man. Matter of fact, you dig what I'm saying? It don't matter who you vote for, just make sure you vote. You dig what I'm saying? How y'all doing? Y'all all right over there? I won't be like tricking this big deal for No, no, no. We trying to figure out what our people want from the president and who running for president. We, OG, what's your name, OG? No. Only thing I know is you from a video when I seen you at one of them P. Diddy parties. Oh, nigga, stop playing with me. Hey, man, hey. I seen you at P. Diddy party on the video, cuz. Cuz, what the fuck wrong with you, man? I'm just keeping it real. You part of that P. Diddy shit, man. You sold your box, cereal box to P. Diddy, man. You did it, you did it. Hey, what Don't put it on me. Did you say sign up to vote for Trump? Yeah, vote for Whoever Trump. you want to vote oh, for. Woo woo. Woo woo. You know woo, what? Woo, woo, yeah, woo. I'm just going to call him woo woo. Woo woo woo. This Sammy, look at it. Like you can this. tell he fuck with P. Diddy. Look at it. He got a nipple jumping out the gym. Man, that man has a thousand bottles a damn Look at that. What nigga going to have a nipple hit. jumping out the gym? P. Diddy, if boy. You got a thousand baby oils on your ass. Ain't no telling. Oh, but I believe in justice. That boy, like. Baby, oh, that boy like Vaseline. Oh. He want to be greased. Trap news, man. We out here in the street, Trap news. Trap, Trap news. Trap I got new. nephew in this street. <laughs> I don't give a damn if he is gay. He's still man, my nephew. Hey, man, get the fuck up out there. Cut this I shit, man. I don't give a damn. He hey, my nephew. Shit. He gay, he gay. His first name Ben, his last name gay. Ben gay. <laughs> yeah. That was his name, yeah. 
Look at him. Mr. Bojangles. This my nephew. No, no, look a friend there. gay guy. I don't have my I love you, buddy. Oh, yeah, we got his ass. Locked and loaded right here. Coming out the car, you did what I'm saying? Blake the Great, we out here in the streets, trap news, you did what I'm saying? OG, tell us why you ain't gonna vote for that bitch. <laughs> ain't no way in the hell I vote for Kamala, man. Nah, I wouldn't do it, bro. I ain't gonna need lie, bro. Okay, well, let me ask you this right here, because we keeping it real with the people, bro. And we really want to know what we want as a people, as a black man, King. What do you want from the motherfucking president, man? I'm gonna keep it real, Trump the realest nigga I know. You know what I mean? Folks that might see this shit and they say, you know what, bro, you know, you're a sellout or whatever, you know, because you're supposed to vote for the sister. But that's that's all more like monkey see, monkey do. That's that same Jim Crow shit. Just because she black, I'm going to vote for her. You feel me? That's the same happened. That's why all them folks got laid down that trail and died a monkey park called they monkey see, monkey do. Just because all oh, y'all going to vote for her don't mean I'm my own, man. I run me. Yes, sir. I'm going to vote for that crackle. I don't, this, this trap new, right? This, this ain't on the. Y'all voting for that white man, man. To I got, see, that, that lady ain't gonna know how to goddamn handle Iran, Iraq, all that other foreign country. It's bigger than Nino Brown, bro. Y'all just don't understand, I'm telling you. That lady gonna fuck us up. She gonna fuck us up. That, yes, my, little, that my little. Yes, opinion. sir. Everybody got their own opinion, you dig what I'm saying? Just shut y'all down right there. Man, fuck them niggas, man. We ain't stunning them niggas. This trap new, bro. We don't, we don't tell you who to vote for. We don't give a damn why you vote. We don't give a fuck if you even register to vote. You dig yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, guess what? We appreciate your opinion as a black man yeah. and telling them fuck what we really want. You dig what I'm saying? You got for anybody sure. you want to shout out? Nah, I ain't got nobody okay, want to shout out. Shout out Trap New. Channel. Trap New, man. Channel 84, man. These boys are playing. Yeah. Channel 85. These boys are playing. I'm finna go smoke one. Fuck you, man. Y'all go. Damn, that's young. What's young? Because we doing the story, right? Yeah. Dikembe Mutambu passes away at 58, bro. That's young. That is young. Dude, that the is brain young. cancer. Mm-hmm. Not in my house. No, no, no. No in my house. Damn, that's crazy. What? Brain cancer, we gotta figure out. Oh, man, look, I gotta I, stop. What? You gotta stop what? Eating that pork? I don't eat pork. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll just make sure. I'll stop they, drinking. That too. <clears throat> that too. We all like, gotta. Not now, but like in the next 20 years. Oh my God, my then is too late. <laughs> you done did all the fucking damage. And, yeah. I came a long way though. You did. Well, let's just keep going, but goodness gracious, we still fifty-eight. Though that's 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 that's. I thought that nigga was way older than that. I really? thought Tumbo was about sixty-five up that way. Well, we send the love out there. Well, he did play a lot of years too. Hell yeah. So that that a that puts a lot of wear and tear on your body. Brain cancer. I'm saying just that's why you probably thought he looked older. But anyways, he was obviously an NBA Hall of Famer that played for the Atlanta Hawks, mm -hmm. among other teams, and he will be remembered for that, oh, that finger wag at opponents after blocking their shots and his height and depth and gravely voice. It was like real deep. Do it to him. Not in my house. <laughs> yeah. But but to that point, like I, like you said, I feel like everybody got to, I was going to say black men, but everybody got to take better care of their stuff because they ain't giving us fake food and shit now, and that's where all that cancer shit come from. Damn, for real, yeah. Deodorant. All this, yeah, they pumping up. That's Remember, I told you they said you don't post tissue ain't good for you. You supposed to use a bidet. You got You need to get your your ass pressure washed. So you need to go. <laughs> on Amazon, you need to go on Amazon and get that bidet thing and let it shoot up your ass. But then what are you doing? Hit the bottom of your nuts. Hit the bottom of your nuts. Mm -hmm. You got to jack your dick off a little bit in the toilet. Ew. That's, you just get your hands freaky too. Shit. Get your hands you're too. You some freaky shit. I heard you're supposed to. They got you on camera spreading. No, they ain't got me on camera nowhere. <laughs> what you gonna do when you, you tried in to get it? In the hole. It's That's supposed to be. So no. the bidet, y'all get your bidet. I heard the, the tissue cause cancer. I heard candles cause cancer. Everything causes cancer. That shit crazy, now. bro. Everything. Um, speaking of cancer, um, are we hoping that the people in Conyers don't develop some issues like that later on down the line because the Conyers, Georgia. Um, chemical plant fire was set since it's, uh, I can't even get out. I, I hate how this written. A Conyers, Georgia chemical plant set fire and then toxic chemicals were released into the air this week in Georgia. I don't know if you've seen it, but it was a lot. I saw. Yeah. They're trying to kill us, bro. That's what I'm saying. 
Abortions, all that shit. They're trying to unallow us. That's what, and, that's what the plan is. Anyways, the BioLab, a chemical plant specializing in pool and spa water care, erupted in a fire that sent harmful chemicals in the air like chlorine and stuff like that. And people in, in Rockdale County, they were saying that they couldn't breathe. They was, like, coughing. They had headaches already. For real? Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. And it compromised over 90,000 people. That's where y'all should send Blake at today. Send his ass out that way. <laughs> with a gas mask on. The old school gas mask with the leather, with the leather top on it. That first airplane motherfucker. Yeah, I think we got a clip. Let's take a look. That's a chemical fire there. Send Blake to the plant, man. Whoa. That's a lot. Could you imagine you live over there? Them people had to evacuate. Yeah. Y'all gotta get the fuck on. Yeah. You can't even risk it. That shit orange. That shit crazy. That shit gonna reach all over Atlanta. Watch what I tell you. It ain't just out there. Chemicals, but that shit. That shit get old. That shit it move around. Way. <laughs> that shit move around, it y'all. Do. No, it really do. And I don't think it's just gonna go away like once we don't right. see the smoke it's anymore. It's still gonna be in the air, yeah. in the water, and yeah, Ooh. and the prostitutes. They got they got night walkers out there in Conyers. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Um, this is crazy. Let's go ahead and head over to some good news. Um, shout out to DC on Fly. He doing big things. He was actually privileged to open up for the comedy icon Martin Lawrence. On his... I said we clap when that nigga name comes. Mm-hmm. Yep, he opened up. The tour is, y'all know what it is, comedy tour, and he actually got to meet the legend Martin Lawrence. I think he was really excited about that. That's hard. Mm-hmm. I know they prayed together that much spiritual. Who, Martin? Yep. I know DC is, but okay. You know what I'm talking about, DC? Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. All right, keep going. Uh, do we think we The Atlanta going? Falcons beat the New Orleans Saints nah. this past week. Like, who the fuck? Atlanta, man, y'all just, we got to do better. What you mean? Who the fuck? Why you talking about we got to do we got a whole, Y'all got a whole fucking season to go. That wasn't shit. No, but but you know the Saints is our rivals. I know, but damn, it ain't a championship. Like It's not, but that's a big thing here in Atlanta. You see, what kind of, I thought you was really from the A. I'm from the A, but I don't, I don't fuck with the foul. I'm a Cowboy fan. What kind of fake ass, fraudulent ass nigga is you? How you going to jump, go to the Cowboys? They, no, I, See, that's the difference between men and women. See, y'all fall in love with niggas that let y'all down all the time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the chase for y'all. You're I right. Because I, I do feel like the Falcons <laughs> act like a baby daddy. Like, you love no. them, and you won't still fight for them because y'all got so invest, y'all invested, but you really y'all know they ain't Y'all tripping for shit. the rest of the year until they play the Saints again. Yeah. That's bullshit. You're right, because they barely won that game. Bitch, you're thinking small. Think big, bitch. Yeah, y'all won my fucking field goal. I mean, yeah. it's a win to win, but. But it was like they nigga. struggled to win that yeah, game. Man, they do need to get it, it together. It took for a nigga to miss a whole fucking uh, kickoff catch for y'all to win. That didn't happen. Yeah. It, it was a fluke. But I do feel, I like the fact, because I think they might be good this year. They got a, a new black coach. Please believe. Yeah, all Please black. believe. I don't give a fuck. If the Falcons go to the championship, and I don't give a fuck who they going through. I'm a Falcons fan for my city. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's but, uh, all I needed to know. Yeah, what you going to put yeah, on yeah, for the yeah, city? Yeah, that's yeah, all. I'm going to put on for the city now. Um, anyways. But they ain't going, so go ahead. Well, we ain't going to say that. It's too early to know. Shit. Anyways, shout out to a- Angela White. Um, she was loving on her baby girl, Dream, while teaching herself love. I think we actually got a clip for that. Let's take a look. Let's Angela White. Formerly known as Black China, but, Black China, but we don't call her that anymore. She goes by her name. Why? Angela White. No, you don't get to pick and choose. Yes, you do. Dream, your forehead is not big. You have the cutest head shape. Four fingers is perfect. Now, if you had two hands, <laughs> oh, so you still would be cute. No. Who has a big forehead? Because I don't. I have four fingers. King has five fingers. Well, uh... It's just some good news. This is good news? Yeah. Huh? Because we are proud of Black China. She has turned over a new leaf. She's living... She's turned as, from a... She is Angela White. Going by her government name, Angela White, she just celebrated... Going to a housewife. Shut up. She just celebrated <laughs> um, a couple years being sober. 
And she raising her daughter the right way. We don't see no videos of your ass with your kids. Go on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Go on my Instagram, Twin. OK. Anyways, uh, and other good news, this teen woke up from a coma. And not only did he wake up, he was speaking another language. I wouldn't mind doing that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now he bilingual. Yeah. No, what? what, did he lose English? Or do he know how to speak that still? I don't know. Do we got a clip? No. OK, well, Ruben, say his last name. Nesmoth? <laughs> You know you get, you know you get old when you look over your glasses like that. You put your head back and look Nesma. over the glasses. Yeah, he was a six-year high school sophomore, and he ended up in a coma last month after another player kicked him in the head during the, the soccer fuck? game. The strange thing is, once he woke up, he was fluent in Spanish. His parents said he could barely, he could already speak a little Spanish, but he was never fluent in it until he had the concussion. This is also known as a foreign accent syndrome. I feel like, would you do that? <laughs> nigga had a shortage in his head. Nigga, <laughs> nigga kicked his screws loose. God damn. <laughs> Jordan Sosito on that message. <laughs> Hola. Uh, anyways, you already know before we get out of here, we got to give you some very important dates. The big business tour picks back up in October. Um, and they added Louisville. Louisville. I learned you had to say it like that. When Louisville. they added Louisville? Louisville. It's not Louisville, it's Louisville. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that show we were supposed to do and then do. Well, it's oh. getting done now. All right. So make sure you head over to 85southshow.com to get those tickets. And then um, Justin Special Incredulous. Okay, what that mean? Incredulous? What that mean, Twin? It means incredible. Mm -mm. What it mean? It means to I see... feel like you looked it up before you... I asked. Okay. Uh, so it's... why you trying to fucking play me like you... I wouldn't just... know if you knew. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to educate you. Um, it means to see something and not believe what you're seeing. But you see it, it's like, oh, damn, it's so incredible, kind of incredible, that I can't believe it. But it's the act of not being able to believe it. Okay. Anyways, the tickets are on sale right now. And then, of course, um, me and Jack Thriller, we're going to be at Uptown Comedy Corner on October 10th. So, yeah. You can grab those tickets as well and pull up on us. And it's really dope for comedians. If you anybody out there aspiring to be a comedian, you can come and compete in a competition to win a paid feature spot at Uptown. Pull up. Mm-hmm. All right, I think. Oh, yeah. And then Trap News is available now on Spotify. So if y'all if y'all at work... Trap New Boy, new Trap New. Trap New. Oh, we need part. to make sure the, the theme song, get, we get a track for that, and then you can get all the episodes, too, because I know sometimes y'all want to bump the intro. Oh, God. Yeah. And a big motherfucking happy birthday shout out to my big dog, Joe. Joe, Cologne. happy birthday! Yes. Burr, 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 burr. Joe is officially 56 years happy old. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. See, he don't even be excited about you. shit like that. Hemorrhoids is flaring up right now. Happy birthday. We should have bought that nigga a pick for his birthday. You. He don't comb his hair. You know. I'm telling you. And Joke many more. Yeah, shout out to one of our amazing producers, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday, Blow. Yes. Well, that's all the news we got for you in the trap tonight. I'm Brie Renee Stray from the A. And this your boy, MBM, Mr. When You See Him. Don't ask me if I sent your bitch a DM. <laughs> Like. <laughs> Channel 85 out. Yeah. Trap noise.